Just ran down the stairs, not gonna lie, I'm bloody loud. Oh, 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 oh. Then my day, I think was the last. Then my day, I think there was no past. Doing it all night, all summer. Doing it the way I wanna. Hello, cherubs, it is Demi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Off you're just joining us now. Welcome! Today's video, I'm so, so excited. I've actually got a few bits and bobs planned. Molly for the rest of this week so what I thought we'd do is just do kind of like a two maybe three day vlog um, and just bring you along with us show you what I'm doing you know we can just spend a few days together have just like besties or something I don't even know I am actually going to get the eyelashes sorted out so if you've seen I uploaded a vlog if you've seen I uploaded a vlog last week talking about my eyelash disaster as you can see i've still got them on but this eye which is the eye that was irritating us has literally just got like a few on the disgusting basically what happened i went back to the shop and the lady actually gave us the wrong set of lashes she gave me cluster lashes or party lashes when i'd asked for full glam kind of like russian lashes um so she'd give me the wrong type of lashes i'm not like really into kind of lashes that you get done at salons so i'm not gonna lie i was none of the wiser um, i don't know if she did it on purpose i'm not sure but anyway she gave me like a cheap out lash for what i actually paid for the lashes which i'm really disappointed about um so i went back to her and i didn't even want to go near my eyes again like i was gonna go and get them removed from her and i was just like no like i don't want to touch my eye my eyes have settled um they're not irritating us or anything anymore but they just look disgusting they're not very nice eyelashes so on the back of that vlog, a lovely, lovely lady got in contact with us on Instagram called Kate, who actually has a little salon in my area. Um, and she just said to us, uh, look, if you'd like to come into my salon, I can have a look at your lashes and um, remove them if you want and give you a set of Russian lashes, which I've never, ever had. Um, never had, like, the Russian lashes that everyone talks about. So I was like, oh my God, I'd actually really, really like that. So I've taken up the opportunity and I'm going to go and get some Russian lashes and get these ones exchanged because they are disgusting and I really don't like them. They keep falling out. This eye is literally just like a zebra or something. I mean, this one's still quite full on, but they're not the nicest of lashes. Plus, I was scammed. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to get these removed today and I'm going to get a new full set of Russian lashes, which I'm really excited about. And then I thought I might go and do a little bit of shopping. So, there's a shopping park near where I'm going and it has like a B&M, a home bargain a pound land and I really want to go and have a look at the Christmassy stuff I want to get some Christmas stuff for my room upstairs and that and I just thought you know I'm gonna bring the Huns along we're gonna have a day out together <laughs> Um, it's by Kate Stobbard. Yeah, that's the lady who reached out to me with my eyelashes on my ridiculous excuse of an eyelash. Um, so she's actually going to do me some new eyelashes on Wednesday next week. Basically, um, it's my fault. I was meant to pop in for a patch test. Totally forgot to go. It slipped my mind. I didn't think about it again. Um, so yeah, that's totally my fault. So I'm not actually getting the lashes today because um of that reason but she took them horrendous ones off for us so my eyes are like 
just back to normal now they're not like full on they're not itchy they're not they're not disgusting they're just nice um which i'm so so happy about because quickly the lashes that i had on were disgusting like kate kate bless her oh she's so lovely she was so so sweet like i'm gonna go here because she's like a trusted lady i'm not just gonna walk into salons anymore i'm gonna go to kate because she's so like just lovely she knew what she was talking about basically the lashes that they had put on me were like cluster lashes when that is not what i paid for i paid 55 quid and i thought i was getting some type of like russian lash no i basically got cluster lashes they were so heavy on my eyes kate was saying that i'm actually really lucky that they didn't ruin my eyelashes because um the cluster lashes like snap and ruin your eyelashes but just said mine aren't that ruined which is good um i feel so bald without my eyelashes on but i'm gonna leave it a few days give my eyes a break from that disastrous lash and kate is i'm um, gonna put me some lovely ones on on wednesday which i'm really really excited about um yeah i'm really excited to get new lashes um, i'm gonna leave like all kate's links below because she's literally helped a girl out this time around and i'm so thankful um so i'm gonna leave her instagram well i'll leave a personal one and i'll leave a beauty one as well and i'll just leave like the information to our shop below so if you're from newcastle area and you want a trusted salon i got you sorted and there's a gorgeous little cafe next to where our salon is so our salon's actually in heaton um and there's a gorgeous gorgeous little um cafe right next to it which all done out like wooden and it looked lovely and the owner was so friendly like people from where i'm from aren't that friendly but everyone up there was so so friendly and i got myself a black coffee Um, i resisted the cake but i probably won't be able to resist the cake on wednesday so um but yeah kate was so lovely and she said she watches my videos all the time and i was just like oh my god and there was another lady there as well and i totally forgot to get her name so lovely um like just sit dead kind and like just like understanding that like because i was saying about how on the vlog i was getting comments about like well you shouldn't just walk into a salon without doing research especially when it's your eyes and i was like look i was in a rush i just i just went in and that was it um and they actually know abby as well who obviously abby's been on my channel my best friend and they know abby's mom as well so yeah it was like nice to know people that knew her and i wasn't gonna go in the shop and be killed I'm still alive <laughs> um but I do trust her um you know so she took these ones off for us um which just feels amazing now like my eyes don't feel weighed down I don't look bong eye anymore because I was looking like a bit bong eye I'm really happy about that and yeah I'm just really really excited to get my new ones on Wednesday and see Kate again she had such a bubbly personality like I wanted to just sit and have a coffee with her there like she seemed so lovely for a bit hopefully I'll chat with her on Wednesday um or maybe even I might just make it yeah do you want to go for a coffee sometime because you know i like you <laughs> she'll be like creep um but yeah so what time is it it is now 20 past three and i think i might go and do a bit of shopping i fancy a bit of home bargains you know just when you want a bit of home bargains you crave a bit of the home bargains i'm craving a bit of home bargains <laughs> we're in like my second home okay so i'm just heading into home bargains I want to have a look at the Christmas stuff and like the e bits, candles, you know. I want to get a basket, fancy a big shopping spray. Just fancy a good shop. Why have to, it's a basket kind of day. Just noticed these shower gels. These are the refresher ones and they're only 89 pence. And they've also got a love heart one for 89 pence as well. And then I've noticed these, which is the Cosmetic Unicorn Limited Edition. This is actually only 99 pence for 500 mil. And then you can also get 250 mil for 99 pence. So obviously you're gonna get the bigger one. We've actually got an Airwick advent calendar in here, which is scented candle calendar. Um, and it's only 4.99, which I think is so good value. I'm just having a browse. I'm so ready for the Christmas season and home bargains. I'm obsessed with this little cracker. It's called the Winter Wonderland Candle and Diffuser Set. And you've got um, a diffuser and then two little candles. And this is only 2 dollars How cute this is a little stocking filler. Obsessed with this. Look at these candles. I can't even deal. These are the Alpen mini cone candles, but they look like acorns. And they're only $1.99. Oh my God. And then this little teapot. 
with a jacket on and a little fur hood. I can't even deal with the cuteness. I'm so obsessed with this wooden Christmas range. Oh, they've got like so much. Home signs for $1.99. What's in here? Oh, like a little cute jar, $1.99. Got a full range of like holographic stuff. Like, look at these holographic bath bombs. The packaging is unreal. Um, I'm obsessed with this, which is a holographic bath soak, but it's actually like in a milk carton, blue and silver. Thick bath set with some bath bombs in. Love it, and it's only three ninety nine. We've got such a cute range of like holographic stuff. So they've got such a good range of bath sets. Um, there's some like simple ones. Dove have got like a full section. Nivea, there's like loads of Nivea ones. They've got a Vaseline one, a Saint Ivy's, some Lynx, Redox, Redox, Impulse. Um. So we've got a full selection of so they've got like so many and they've actually just seen this St. Marais one as well where you get a tan, a lip gloss and a bronzer. I've never actually seen a St. Marais set, St. Marais set. So I actually really like this and it's only 4 99 as well. They actually have a huge selection of sets for men as well. So we've got some humble ones here for 3 99 and then you've got a cheaper one for 1 99 just loads of stuff and um, some little shaving sets as well which are usually really handy for four pound for a long sorry they've got such a cute range of like little stock and filler toys for kids um yeah just like a massive variety of stuff and they've got loads of like christmas decorations which i'm totally living for like sets for 149 of ribbons and stuff and then they've got some nice boxes and then they've got obviously the big bag collection of stuff. I mean, look at these. These ones are only like 39 pence. So, so cheap. Um, so handy for like um, Secret Santa and stuff like that. There's such a variety at like amazing prices. I might actually pick a few of these up for myself because I do like putting everyone's presents in little bags. So these are like super, super cute. They've got an amazing white range of Christmas stuff. Absolutely living for this. Definitely gonna get some for the background of my video. They've got so much stuff as well. And it's all so gorgeous. Like that, it just goes right up. And then they've also got red, like big things of crackers. They've just got honestly so much in. Massive inflatable Santa, only for $19.99. Love this, so tempted to get it for my room, but my mum would actually kill us. And they've got loads of little like elf toy things as well. They've honestly got so much stuff in, like I can't even contain. Loads of stockings down there, stockings here, and then just some like gorgeous cups. Look at that bauble cup. 99 pence, I feel like I need that. They've also got like some Christmassy ones here. Oh, living for that Santa cup. There's just so much stuff. Look at them like candles. Okay, so I'm now in Poundland and I'm looking at these selections of like little stock and fillers. So we've got like some little truffles, some little festive friends. I actually used to love these like the animal biscuits with the chocolate on the back, divine. They've got like some white Malteser type things, some milk trays, some biscuits. I love the look of these. They're like jammy dodgers but they're like chocolate and orange ones. Love. Shortbread and look at these. Found these little tinsel trays. I've actually picked like a black cum silver one up but they've got like so much tinsel and decoration. I'm going to get a few bits and bobs for like the background of my videos to try and make them a bit Christmassy. I love these reindeers. I think they're so cute. I love the gold one as well. I think I will get her. She's very cute. I'm going to call her Donna. I like Donna. Will I get a silver one as well or should I get a red one as well? Too much choice. I've got like loads of silver decorations and gold decorations. There's just so much. I've noticed these lollies. One says thug light, then they've got the poo emoji and then a finger. I thought these were dead cute and then they've also got like the queen in there. 
Then I also noticed these candy shot glasses. I actually noticed these, which I thought was so funny, like little warning signs. Um, yeah, I just thought they were dead cute. And then you've got some banter stamps, some like slogan socks, and then I like this little notebook that says shit I've gotta get done. I'm now gonna go to B and M. B and M is definitely my favourite shop for presents at Christmas. Not necessarily like decorations, presents. It literally does the most unique presents at like such reasonable prices, and I love it. So I'm gonna go into B and M. I'm gonna have a wonder and just see what they've got. Um, I am gonna have to vlog on my phone because my back, my camera, has got eight percent battery because. I forgot to charge it so um yeah i'm gonna actually vlog in the store on my phone but yeah let's go to b and m i love it we've just got so many like amazing stock fillers if any of the fam are watching who are buying for me excuse me this big box of fingers is like heaven 3.99 whoever's watching please get me this for christmas um but yeah they've just got such variety and what i find is they do like loads of themed stuff so like strictly from dancing but like all the stuff that they do as well is dead unique like look at that reese's tree um and again the prices are just so amazing as well like i just love bnm's christmas section you know i think it's mint so i'm in me nana's i've just had me tea and i've just came across this this is the christmas amazing food and drink by aldi and i was just having a browse and i thought you know what i'm gonna show the huns what foods in aldi this christmas i actually love aldi i think it's such a good value for money like when i have a house and that i would definitely do my grocery shops here i'm showing people what's in aldi <laughs> so we have got some salmon which looks very very nice um so this is like some scottish salmon they've also got some fish and seafood volivants not a big fan of fishy like pie things um but then they also have a king prawn and scallop gathering never heard of that too posh for me this looks nice though this is oh no it's not i thought it was a little strawberry pudding it's patty it's patty uh not what i thought it was um this looks lovely marinated king prawns that's my type of thing that's only 2.99 as well oh and we've got some big turkeys that i don't know what that is number c i mean let us see where is it chocolate star Mm, that looks lovely and then you've got some more i love these like swiss roll ones they're definitely my type of vibe Oh, yeah, I'm literally just in my Nana's house. I've just had my tea. I had a stir fry, um, and I'm just here, and then I'll go along home in a bit. I'm going to let you go now because, um, well, for today. Day two. Me and Sean have come in to Pret, and these are honestly one of the nicest salads. I'm not even sure what they're called. I think they're like chicken and meat and other. But they've got like pistachio nut and cheese and that and they're really nice. Me and Sean got one of them and then a sandwich to share. And I've got an ice latte and he's got a cappuccino. <laughs> We're just in Metro Centre, so yeah. Me and Sean have just come into IKEA because um I am wanting some inspiration from my room and Sean is maybe looking at a sofa bed, so I just in IKEA we're gonna have a look around. I literally haven't been here in years. Um I'm also vlogging on my phone because I haven't got my camera. Just come across this gorgeous, this is like a very dark type of living room, but I love it. It's like navy and yellow. You've got the champagne. Look at the little cactuses. And then the matching kitchen dark that. kitchen. Yeah. That's unreal, isn't it? We're getting home inspiration for the home we don't have. Oh, look at the fake lettuce. <laughs> love it. I actually really like this. And to be fair, you don't even need that big of a kitchen. Like, that isn't a big kitchen but it's lush i like a kitchen diner type thing you could have i love that love 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 that it's a good chair i found a room sean's are fascinated with them cup ads above her bed it's got this little bed on it i love the dresser with the studio lights and then you've got the dressing table the little site like my room's bigger than this so when you think potentially i could do this yeah. plus i wouldn't need these because i've got my built-in one it's nice like okay so i'm thinking for my walk-in cupboards taking the doors off and having a little net like this sean saw them in the storage so in it i've just got like a little shelf with a rack i need to show me man this 
and then I could get some drawers in it like that, and then this, like that could do shoe storage. Take like the size of yours, well. just one of them. Like yeah, just one, one of these. Or so I could go for something like this. I need to show my mum. Nice storage. I'd have to declutter. And then I've got a full size mirror. Oh, I could go for something like this again with the nice net, and then have more hanging space at the bottom. And I could have like some shelves. I've got a shelf at the top. I don't think mine's as high as this. Maybe it is, I'm not sure. But I like this with the net and this. Let us go to the back and show my mum. My room's probably this side. I don't like that bed though. Actually, it's probably a bit smaller, isn't it? That's not the point, maybe. But uh, that's the type of thing I want to do with my wardrobe, I think. I think it looks nice. And then go and pull that shut on. Pull the curtains, show, show my mum how like it could look me. <laughs> Like if you pull that, yeah, but you have to like bunch the rest of the curtain up because you've just got a layer. Oh, it's all right, just leave it. It's all right. <laughs> oh, you. It's all right, just leave it. There we go. So there, that's the type of thing I think would look nice in my wardrobe. I don't want this bed, I'm still wanting an ottoman plush velvet bed. But I like this. I like this in school, this is nice. Dave. Hi babes, it's Demi. So this is literally turned into like, what, like a four or five day vlog. But it is currently Sunday and me and Sean are heading to the range. And I thought I'd bring you along so I can show you like the Christmas selection of stuff they've got there. Um, we're going to the range. Sean's actually doing his room out kind of thing and I'm wanting to as well. Um, so I think he's just looking for like little coffee tables, a little like storage units and stuff um, and I'm like kind of looking for the same thing I'm like gonna gradually do my room like I want a new bed new storage for my cupboards and everything that's how you seen yesterday we were having a look around Ikea um, and yeah so we're just having a look around all the different shops and seeing what there is but we're just off to the range it's absolutely pouring down I haven't got the best type of coat on but never mind um, and I just thought I would bring you along with me as well so you can see what's happening This is my type of aisle. All the traditional Christmas colours. Love it. Are you happy? <laughs> He's not happy. I love the colour of that tinsel. It's beautiful. Look at the little Rebo ones, oh dear pound. Doggy Christmases, our oh, little mince pie. Doggy deli. Stockings, oh look. Santa's chocolates. Festive box, thank you. John, you seeing that? Santa's chocolate, festive box and dog beer. It's also awesome Christmassy, oh Dolly would love him. How long are you? <laughs> Put this one on. They have to come here for Christmas list. Look at. Shivering. No. Look. Oh, you totally missed it. Look at him. <laughs> He's shivering. <laughs> Isn't it good? Uh -huh. Look at the lights. <laughs> I'm going into Santa's grotto. Oh, I love it. So cozy. Got all the lights. Okay, so I'm actually going to end this vlog here because it's been a 3D vlog. I've just been like looking in shops at the Christmas Rangers. I went to Ikea, a bit of inspiration, got the lashes removed. Um, and I'm going to end this vlog here or else it's going to be like so long. 
but if you are enjoying my content recently then definitely subscribe and check out vlogs coming very soon because I'm actually going to be doing um, a vlog this week which will be uploaded this week as well probably where I'm going to be showing you is like transforming my room and stuff um, and maybe next week and then I'm also probably going to vlog um, a few more days out and stuff. So yeah, I'm just mixing my content up recently, doing some vlogs, challenges and sit down videos and I hope you are okay with that. And yeah, this is going to conclude this video. I'm also getting my lashes on Wednesday, which I'm going to vlog as well. But this is going to conclude this video and I really hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It means the absolute world. Like, honestly, I'm so close to 110,000 subscribers, which is mental. Like, honestly, mental. Um, But yeah, I'll see you very shortly for another video. Bye!